Hello everybody, I'm really happy to be here, to have this opportunity to send a message to many of you. And um, let me start by, first of all, thanking Master Paulo Batuta for the invitation. And uh, I want to apologize for not being able to be there with you guys, uh, despite the fact that uh, Paulo really insisted it and for me to go it was too short of a notice and i have some some family commitments here in brazil that i really cannot cancel but uh, nonetheless i'll be there in in my spirit i'll be there with my heart i'll be there in my mind thinking of all of you guys and uh, being super happy that uh, you guys have uh, achieved this level and uh, are now entering a new phase, a new realm in, in the capoeira world. Uh, capoeira is an art form that is, is very fun to do. And uh, nonetheless, it's very challenging too for, for all of you guys that are particularly reaching this level of uh, um, graduation today. You know that very well, you know, because uh, it's not... Uh, is not an easy art in, in, in many aspects. It's easy in some aspects. You know, the aspect that is easy is that when you begin capoeira, you have a lot of fun, you learn a lot about your capabilities, about your body, about your capacity to overcome, you know, difficulties. And that cap keeps progressing until you reach a level that then you reach a plateau and then you feel stuck, and then you don't grow, and, uh, and then you need to start looking for different ways to motivate yourself. And not only that, then you go through some other life problems, you go through frustrations, you go to disappointments, and uh, all of this, this is not something that is capoeira related only, but is basically part of life in anything that you're doing in your life, you will go through those phases. And, and the thing about capoeira is because it's something that we really love so much, capoeira pushes us to continue to pursue in, you know, in this dream of becoming better, of uh, using this art form as a tool to help other people out in the same way that this, this art form has been helping us. And that's where the, the beauty of the art lays. So, you know, we gotta, with that, also understand that it's important for us to really respect and appreciate the people that came before us. You know, all the way from, from back um, during the slavery time, where these people were really, you know, uh, having fun while they were doing their dance, their music and singing despite all the the challenges that they were having in their lives and uh, later on the the art grew and they got to a point that it became really more of a, you know part of people's life and uh, there were the first masters we can't forget Messi Bimba and Messi Pastinha there were two masters that really dedicated their entire life to to spread capoeira to the world and then of course you know the masters that came after them and then our masters you know i i often remember that i appreciate from the very first steps that i learned when i started learning capoeira on the streets of sao paulo here back in the you know in the mid 70s and uh and then i was exposed to to many different great people they helped me to achieve the level that I have achieved. And, uh, and then I had the opportunity to go to the US and to be one of the pioneers there and uh, help to spread capoeira uh, with uh, a lot of fundamentals, with a lot of respect to the rituals of the art and uh, with also with an open-minded and being humble to learn from everybody that uh, was coming through the U.S. or that I would visit down in Brazil when I came to visit, 
And the truth of the matter is that uh, basically we learn capoeira uh, not only from the masters, we learn capoeira from the most beginner student. Each student have a different way of learning and you as a capoeira teacher, you need to basically unfold all your capabilities of teaching in order to help out this is a student to learn capoeira and that is an incredible life lesson that, that we have. Um, with that said, and I also have to say that uh, the challenge doesn't stop there. You know, it's a challenge that uh, is part of uh, being a human. You know, we do mistakes. We learn a lot from our mistakes. We need to learn how to forgive when people do their mistakes too because people will do. Masters have to basically uh, overcome a lot of uh, difficulties with the students and therefore students have to also overcome a lot of difficulties that they have with their masters. It all, uh, is, all comes with the territory, it's all part of, a, of a, a building a community and being part of a community and it's very important that everybody knows that because uh, it's not only a moment of glamour or uh, uh, you know, of a party, of happiness, like it's been today. It's, it's a journey. It's a journey that uh, requires a lot of reflection. It requires a lot of uh, internal, inner search. And uh, once when you get there, you will realize there was not only a physical activity, it was also, you know, a mental, an emotional, and why not to say an spiritual um, experience in an spiritual learning that we have had in, in throughout this process um, so you guys congratulations I want to uh, acknowledge uh, the importance and uh, that we have had in our group in 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 having committed people like these people they're graduating today you know people like Caroço like Braza Moranga, Pajé, Vampiro, you know, these people, I have been following up and have been seeing their commitment, their dedication. I know that it has been a very, very long journey for them. And, and then other people that I'm not that acquainted with, but I also know of them, you know, and um, people like Sereia, Cipó, Gentil, Flicão, Vovó, and also let's not forget some other people, they are not graduating today, but they are not less important. Sometimes they are even more important than you guys that are graduating. People like, uh, like Juruna, for example, that has been always uh, Paulo's Batuta right arm. People like uh, Freira, people like Bambam, people like Das Cavernas, Sininho, that was awesome helping out in so many different ways. And actually, a bunch of other people that, to be honest, I don't even remember right now at this moment. So please forgive me if I'm forgetting, you know, to mention your name. And uh, I'm sure that a few minutes after I finish this recording, I will remember a bunch of other people that I didn't mention. But please consider yourself acknowledged too, because you have been very important for us. You have been very important to the growth of this group and to the accomplishment of these people that are graduating today, these people that are graduating today, they are being able to graduate because you guys from the past have helped out a lot too. So we are really appreciative of that. Uh, Paulo Batuta has also been very committed. He came to me many, many years ago when he first came to, to San Diego and asked for my support in order to to join uh, our Capoeira Manjinga group because um, he needed to you know to have some some support that was more related to to the lineage that he came from which was Mestre Cicero from Brazil we both come from the same academy Cicero from Campinas and uh, and then uh, after talking with Mestre Cicero and going through the whole etiquette of the of the procedures of uh, accepting somebody to um, affiliate with your group which is the correct way of doing it then 
you know, I accepted Paul joining us. And after that, it was, uh, it was a really good experience that we had together. We not only did capoeira in San Diego, in the Bay Area, but in other places in California, in other places in the US, and even in other places in the world. So it's a very, you know, it has been a very unique um, opportunity and very re rewarding opportunity to, to get to know each other and to have had Paulo uh, being part of our group for so many years and also now continue to do his work despite the challenges that he has. You know, we have kids, we have the ups and downs of capoeira, which is part of the territory, again, is nothing different than it has been in the past. So, you know, Paulo, congratulations. You are really have been doing uh, an amazing work there and, uh, and you deserve the basically the happiness of having the all these people having this accomplishment today uh, i want to wrap this up by uh, first of all wishing you guys all good luck with your journey from now on and we never stop learning as we know as you know you know it's uh, the learning is an infinite thing like messi pastinha said you know, the capoeira has no beginning and its end is in inconceivable. And um, so I want to, to wish you guys all the luck. I want to invite all of you, if you ever come to Brazil, please come and visit me. Um, I often will be uh, doing a few events here and there and all of you are invited to come. Uh, anytime I go back to the US, I will do my best to go visit you guys and visit Paulo, okay? But I want to wrap it up by singing a capoeira song that I think that is very appropriate for the occasion right now. And, and this song was, uh, was created by a, a friend of mine, Mestre Raílson, from um, Porto Seguro, in Bahia. And Raílson um, came to visit us many years ago and taught a workshop at our academy in Oakland, our beautiful academy that we had on Piedmont Avenue in Oakland. And then we, I really love the song. The song says a lot, you know, it's a very short song and I will skip part of the chorus to make it shorter, uh, but I'll be happy to later on send the lyrics to, to Master Paulo Batuta so he can share with all of you guys. And I think that is very appropriate because it's a song that talks about uh, the importance and the challenges of being, of becoming a capoeira mestre, okay? So the song goes like this. <coughs> Esse mestre é difícil, mas não impossível. Esse mestre é sem sacrifício. Esse mestre é feito com dedicação. everybody have fun please help to spread capoeira out to the world as well starting perhaps at your neighborhood and then maybe at your city or your town 
perhaps in your state, in your country, whatever in the world you are. Capoeira needs you and you need Capoeira too. So it's a give and take. It's something for us to remember that we gotta be grateful that is not easy, but it's fun and it's definitely worth it. Okay? Have a good one. Love